Hey everybody, I'm Gene O.D. for HRH TV, and this week live from SFW, we have the privilege of welcoming Garrett Wang to the couch. How are you, dude? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> but our, I think our throats are going through the motions at the moment. <laughs> well, you've been here two weeks. This is only one weekend for me. So. Uh, but uh, this is your first time to Wales? Uh, second time. Yeah. Uh, last I was here last year for Wales Comic Con, yeah. which was also in northern Wales. It was in uh, Wrexham. So, yeah. yeah. But this is your first time in uh, doing the SFW, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. And it's uh, definitely quite an event to be yeah. at. Yeah. Would you come back? Yes, I would. Yeah. I would. I think we saw the one piece of news clip that you did yesterday. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the feedback that I got from your panel yesterday was right. that you were a riot. <laughs> Good. Uh, and everybody seemed to have enjoyed it. Yeah. I think the one question everybody's still talking about is, is when you said the one actor that you wouldn't work with. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the question is, was he serious or or, or, or was he joking? Uh, was he serious or was he joking about? Uh, about not working with William Shatner. Oh, um, I, you know, the question was, who amongst the Star Trek actors would you like to work with? I said, yeah. pa Sir Patrick Stewart. Why, and why? I said, because he's a great actor. And, uh, and the second question was, who in the Star Trek, of all those other Star Trek actors, would you not want to work with? And I said, Shatner. <laughs> they said, why? Because he's such a narcissistic asshole, you know? <laughs> That's why. He can be such a jerk. And I, it's just, I feel sad because I, I just, you know, usually if you go through life uh, being a bully or a jerk, you, you kind of have a, uh, a light bulb moment later yeah. in life where you're like, oh my gosh. I've been a dick to everyone, and then you change, right? And he's on his, you know, arguably his his uh, the the fourth quarter of his life, you know, yeah. if you're using a football, uh, American football uh, term, and um, he's still exactly how he yes. was in 1966, 1967. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of stories about the, the kind of things that he did on the set uh, when they were doing rehearsal. Yeah, if. Uh, if he liked a line that uh, Chekhov said, he'd say, uh, that's my line now. Uh, oh, and that line, that's mine. That's yeah. Kirk's too. I mean, yeah. that's that's pretty bold to be able to act yeah. like that, you know. Uh, because as, as actors or, or musicians or any type of entertainer, entertainer uh, the goal is to be collaborative. Yeah. You're supposed to collaborate right. with the people around you, right? Not be all about not act like everyone like you are the center of the universe and everything revolves around you yep. you know um, so I often say to people I say I'm a fan of Captain Kirk but I'm not a fan of, of William Shatner just because of just how he treats fans and how he acts and you know it's just he's he's become such a caricature of himself basically yep. over the years and and like I said I really hope that he gets it at some point he, get, he has that That's Ebenezer a, Scrooge moment <laughs> Does I mean because uh, it's weird being in a in a series like Voyager, <coughs> like Voyager. Yes. Um, the long lasting effect that the Star Trek thing has had on, on yeah. generations. I mean, yeah. from the original series to I think it ended up it's having it's had the most spin offs um, as well. Yeah. Uh, and it's um, interesting and amazing the amount of impact it has on a global scale to people's lives. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, what what do you, do you think it was Roddenberry's dream to to think oh. You know, this utopian society that, you know, we could, you know, go out and, you know, all live together, yeah. you know, uh, even though conflict was still going to be out there. Yeah. Is that still feasible? I would like to hope so. Yeah, I would like to hope that um, a, you know, Star Trek vision of the future is a possibility. Um, but, uh, but you know, you're, you're right in that it has affected so many generations of people over the years because... Uh, the way Roddenberry set up Trek, the, at least the original Trek, was, you know, you would watch an episode and, yeah, there would be the storyline, they would be facing the Klingons or this or that, but there was always that underneath current or, or message um, yeah. of how to live life better, uh, how to, to treat your fellow human being better, you know, so yeah. there was always that hidden message that continued through pretty much every incarnation of Star Trek. They've, they've had that kind of underlying meaning or, or, or um, um, light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. And I, like the interview I did with the, the Wales television uh, uh, crew the other day, um, I, and, 
each year that I go to conventions, there's always a few people each year that come up to me and say, oh my God, thank you so much. Um, your show, uh, it, it took me, uh, it brought me through some very, very dark times in yeah. my life um, where I was suicidal or this or that, or I, you know, and it pulled me through. Um, you can't say that about any other television show. You really can. No. You can't say like, oh my God, you know, ER or friends pulled me through this, you know, depression. No, it doesn't yeah. happen. And many people come up to me and say, I have insomnia and the only way that I can fall asleep is to have Trek on as white noise in the background. Yeah. That's the only way they can fall asleep. Which is, which is weird. Yeah. <laughs> that it comforts them <laughs> that much. Nice. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. Anything you want to say to the SFW crew out there? Um, your time here. Uh, just keep on rocking. <laughs> keep on doing what you're doing because it's it's definitely a unique event, and, and um, I'm going to be sure to tell other other Trek actors that this is a destination that they should make it to. So. And all I can say is, is I'm still Gino D. I've had the <laughs> I've still had the privilege of sitting and talking to Garrett Wang. And thanks for watching us. We'll catch you later on down the road. Peace.